द मेन साइको एक्टिव इन्ग्रीडियंट फाउंड इन मैजिक मशरूम्स कैन सिग्निफिकेंटली रिड्यूज द सिम्टम्स डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रीट डिप्रेशन डेटा फ्रॉम द लार्जेस्ट क्लिनिकल ट्रायल एवर टू टेस्ट द कीनली वास्ड कंपाउंड हैज फाउंड द मिड स्टेज स्टडी कंडक्टेड बाय द लंडन बेस्ड एंड नेस्टिक लिस्टेड कंपास पाथवेज इन्वॉल्वड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री पेशेंट्स विद सो कॉल्ड ट्रीटमेंट रेजिस्टेंट डिप्रेशन हु हैव फेल्ड टू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम एटलीस्ट टू एंटी डिप्रेसेंट्स इन टेंडम द साइकोलॉजिकल सपोर्ट ईच पार्टिसिपेंट रिसीव्ड अ सिंगल ट्वेंटी फाइव एम जी टेन एम जी आर अ कंट्रोल वन मिलीग्राम डोज ऑफ अ सिंथेटिक फार्मुलेशन ऑफ द कंपाउंड साइलोसाइबिन सो दिस इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट स्टडी बिकॉज इट्स इन an area where there's great uh, patient need and that is treatment resistant depression that is patients who have failed uh, at least two and sometimes as many as four previous treatments the treatment we are trying to employ is psilocybin comp360 that's a crystalline synthetic form of psilocybin which we give as a single administration to patients uh, with psychological support and we have followed them up after this treatment for up to 12 weeks Treatment resistant depression is difficult. It's basically about the limitations of our current treatments. Uh it's also about the difficulty of uh, living with depression because the condition is often quite chronic and there's a great deal of unmet need. It's estimated about a third of patients who present with depression may end up having relatively treatment resistant depression that may be require the kind of extra efforts that we're innovating here. Once administered patients entered a sort of waking dream like state that lasted between 4 to 6 hours people came in the morning had their psychedelic experience and left that afternoon or evening at their baseline state said James Rucker consultant psychiatrist and senior clinical lecturer at King's College London who was involved in the study like a sort of amplifier of of mental processes um there are some characteristic effects like um misperceptions so things can start to look strange your sense of time can slow up or um so speed up or slow down um you can get strange sensations going through your body um and strange experiences um emotions bodily sensations or memories from the past that you may have long forgotten all of these things can come up um and the idea with psilocybin ther- therapy is to be curious about those to be open to those and to be willing um to go to the dark places in your mind where you might find um a little gem of insight about why you might be feeling the way you're feeling data published in a medical journal showed that patients who were given the 25 mg dose of psilocybin had statistically significant lower levels of depressive symptoms than people treated with lower doses 1 mg or 10 mg 3 weeks after treatment additionally about 29% of patients in that group achieved remission on a standardized depression scale a score below a certain cutoff point on the scale given these patients have limited options that come with troublesome side effects and or stigma these findings are a positive step in the right direction said rocker the trials finding are positive but not spectacular cautioned ravi das associate professor at the university college london institute of mental health Data also showed that treatment effect started to wane around the 12 week mark. About 20% of patients in the 25 mg group saw a sustained response after 3 months versus roughly 10% in the control 1 mg group compass set. Although patients in the study were only enrolled if they were not considered to be a clinically significant risk of suicide, three patients in the 25 mg group demonstrated suicidal behavior within 12 weeks of treatment. Since they are studying depression, 
suicidality is going to be a feature of illness course said guy goodwin chief medical officer at compass pathways i think i think the way in which we see it working is that it's it provides the springboard to actually go into a phase 3 program and that's the key thing that we have sufficient confidence in what we've discovered and we think it's sufficiently convincing and the publication is such a high impact journal uh, that this is the springboard for going to phase 3 which requires bigger studies studies that really are definitive and which will also give us a clearer view of how we treat people in the long term i think this is an exciting finding it's easily the biggest study of its kind so far okay we need bigger ones to come but it is the biggest it's very very clear statistically significant which is exciting and it offers a new avenue to treat patients with considerable unmet need that is great data from two late stage studies testing the compound r could be unveiled by end of the 2024 at the earliest he said compass compound which is also being treated as a treatment of ptsd is believed to target the bites of the brain are intimately involved with the processing of emotion said rucker existing antidepressants typically take weeks to kick in johnson and johnson's pharmaceuticals con concoction of ketamine the notorious party drug that is also a horse and cat tranquilizer was approved in 2019 psychoactive ingredients whether derived from cannabis lsd or magic mushrooms have long captivated mental health researchers it's been difficult to develop these drugs because there was their illegality they were not available to doctors um so there was a lost generation or even two when they were simply not used in man by medical profession so we've got a lot of catch up to do and we are part of that catch up and i think we've done pretty well with it Navigating the complex legal hurdles to access these compounds has thawed the pace of research but with motivated scientists and a growing burden of poorly treated mental health conditions the ecosystem of psychedelic research has exploded but critics worry that the burgeoning research could incentivize unbridled use of non pharmaceuticals versions of these drugs